Hey everyone, it's Casey Dimon here. We're talking about tax sales in the state of South Carolina. Now, South Carolina is what is called a redeemable deed state. In a redeemable deed state, the property is sold for failure of the owner to pay their property taxes, but they still have a certain amount of time to cancel this deed after the tax sale auction. Now, in South Carolina, the minimum bids are going to be based off the amount of the delinquent taxes, interest, and all penalties and fees due on that property up to that point. The auction itself is a fairly standard auction process where the person who is willing to pay the most amount of money for the property will walk away as the winning bidder. Now in South Carolina, there is a one year right of redemption. During this one year right of redemption period, the delinquent taxpayer can come back and redeem the property by paying the total amount due plus the interest. If you're the investor or you're the owner of the redeemable deed, when a piece of property gets redeemed, you're going to receive your total amount back that you bid or that you paid for the property plus interest. The interest is going to be 3% for the first three months, 6% if it's redeemed in months 6 through 9, 9% if it's redeemed in months 7, 8, or 9, and then 12% if it's redeemed in months 10, or 11, or 12 after the sale. Now there is a cap to the potential interest that you can earn, and basically that cap does not allow you to earn more than the minimum bid was in the first place or the amount of the delinquent taxes and fees that were owed. Now if the property is not redeemed during that one year period, the deed is then sent to be recorded and you'll be required to pay the nominal recording costs in order to gain ownership of that piece of property. Now all sales are going to be handled by the tax collector's office and are usually held at the courthouse sometime in the fall months. You're generally going to be required to be on site in order to bid or you can potentially send an agent to bid on your behalf. Now pre-registration is going to be recommended especially in the larger counties, well, so you don't get stuck in line trying to register when the auction begins in the other room. You might also even be required to pay a registration fee of some sort in order to register. It's usually a nominal amount of five or 10 bucks. It also should be noted that if you bid on a piece of property, you will be required to make payment the same day through certified funds. And also it's very important that if you bid on a piece of property, you better pay for it because the county can charge you a penalty up to $500, and some counties will even take you to court to collect that penalty. To learn more about the specific county that you're interested in, and to find all the tax sale lists, head on over to the tax collector's website for that county and browse until you find the links to their tax sale section. They'll have a list posted on there, and some have quite a bit of comprehensive information. So I really hope you've enjoyed this breakdown of South Carolina's tax sale laws. If you'd like to learn more about their state laws and all the legal information, head on over to Google and search South Carolina Code of Laws, Title 12, Chapter 51. To learn about other states, head on over to taxsaleacademy.com and click on our state guide. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.